a man noticed a deer had gotten stuck in the mud in the nearby lake. The man waded out with the canoe to see what he could do. He got to the deer and managed to calm her down. He also attempted to get her unstuck, but the poor deer proceeded to run right back into the mud. But fortunately, later he was able to get her back in the canoe. So this kind man got the deer back towards land, but she jumped out of the canoe and into the mud again. Oh no! This time he used rope and was able to get her back to the edge of the lake where the mud wasn't as deep. The next morning she was still there. When the man checked on her, she jumped up and took off. The deer looked to be fine. Best of luck, honey. Someone found this poor kitten in very bad condition. On the next day, the rescuers headed out to the place. He looked like he was barely alive. The baby was paralyzed. Rescuers took him to the vet. He got some medical treatment there. He didn't eat or drink for a long time. Just imagine how hungry he was. He also got a lot of medication. He doesn't like it like other kids, as well as eye drops. Welcome home. After three weeks, he looks much more healthy. Also, he started to walk on all four legs a little bit. After a year and a half, he was fully recovered. He enjoys his new life. His new family named him Tigo. Bye, Tigo. Around two dozen cats were rescued from burning apartments. Firefighters then found and rescued all these cats. They were so scared and wet. Poor babies. Now they're all safe, thanks to the firefighters. A rescue team received a text about a paralyzed cat under a house. The rescuers rushed up to the location to help the cat. He was hiding in the basement and was so scared to go out. Fortunately, he went out to eat the food lure. And finally, he was caught. Rescuers named him Autumn. The medical team checked up on him. They started special treatment with steroids. Also, Autumn started a special diet that would help dissolve the crystals in his bladder. After a few days of treatment and rest, Autumn was ready to walk on all four legs. That's a miracle! We are so happy for this beautiful boy. Rescuers found a dog that got himself wedged in a concrete drainage pipe. He was injured and absolutely terrified. He wasn't trustworthy and wanted to stay in that too, and he couldn't be sure that the people were there to help him. After a few unlucky attempts, they managed to get him out. Now he can see his rescuers. They moved him directly and safely to the vet. He is an older boy with poor eyesight. Also, he can't smell and can't hear very well. The x-rays showed no broken bones, but he had some shots. Such a poor creature. He needs to stay in the hospital for a while. After a week, he started to feel better, and he was ready to leave the clinic. He got a name. Eris, this boy will remain under care of this rescue team. They will make sure he will have a good life for as long as it takes. Animals also need a decent old age. A tiny puppy lived near a busy road. One rescue team got a message about him. People were looking for the baby in an area where he was noticed. Suddenly, the puppy showed up. The poor dog didn't trust people at all. It was not easy to catch him. But finally, he was in the volunteer's hands. As it turns out, this is a girl. This beauty was so scared. She was so stressed that she couldn't even eat. Rescuers named her Lucy. Such a lovely name. A nice, relaxing warm bath and some good sleep. That's what she needs. She's looking for her new family now. We are sure she will be happy. This family noticed a baby moose right on the road. This baby moose was stranded on the shoulder of a busy highway and a deep swamp. What would you do in this situation? And what will be the fate of our new little friend? The boy picked the baby up. The little moose was crying and calling for his mother. Poor kid. Whoa, this is crazy. She had a baby moose. 
that could cause a big accident, and that's why people needed to move him. The poor baby was not going to survive if he stayed there, so these kind people brought him to a safer location. And that moose's story had a happy ending. The next day, a mom with two calves was noticed nearby. Probably this mom will adopt the baby, and now she will care about him as if he were her own child. That's a happy baby. Gates Wildlife responded to an emergency call. A squirrel got inside a kitchen of a retirement home. The kitchen staff had seen the squirrel running around. They cornered her under a dish cart. They didn't really know what they were up against here, so they needed to be prepared for anything. The rescuers caught the little baby very carefully. The tiny squirrel was angry and shocked to be caught. But it's alright baby, you'll be back with your mommy soon. And he started to scream. That was just to let mom know that she needed to help him. And let her, a baby squirrel is born this year because we're in mid-September. At this age, little squirrels are kind of stupid. They just end up in places they don't know how to get themselves out of. He'll go up that tree and start to cry out. Mom will come and find him, and they'll live happily ever after. This tabby cat was found with her kittens on the street. Now they have a home and a shelter. They're not stray anymore. Three months later, the mummy was spayed in a vet hospital. After the operation, she came back to her children. Good girl, take care of your babies. Another story is about this baby fox. This baby was constantly calling out in the garden, but there was no sign of mom. They discovered that the mom did not return that night. The fox cub made a quick dart from the den and got tangled in football netting. Normally a disaster, but it helped us retrieve the fox cub with ease. People will care about you, baby. A small baby sheep had fallen into an abandoned well. The baby was crying and asking for help. He missed mommy so much. Come on, let's return you to your mommy. The baby was scared and stressed. People tied him with a net to the rescuer's body to pull him up. Thank goodness, now the baby is safe. He was so dehydrated. He feels so calm in his owner's arms. They were even watching cartoons together. These kind people managed to locate the lamb's home and they were able to return the baby safe and sound. They came there to find his mom, and finally, mommy was found. Look how this man saved a poor cat stuck in a car bonnet. This story has a happy end, the cat is safe. An abandoned seventh baby swan was found. Their parents left him alone. A man who found him cleaned him up and named him Seven. Look how this swan has grown all this time with the care of this man. These kind people grew him like their own child. He became bigger and much more beautiful. When he came to be nine months old, Seven and his brother are ready to live on their own. This lake will be their new home. His human parents will miss him so much. Goodbye, beautiful swans. One of the crew opened the porthole and saw this little bird drowned in the sea. The man picked him up and brought the baby into the cab. The bird was hungry. He ate some crackers and drank some fresh water with his tiny beak. Look, he felt really comfortable on the human's hair. The small guy was pretty excited to see land. He flew away near the shore and sang, thanks. There were three little dogs abandoned on the side of the road, only three weeks old. How can they survive? Where's their mommy? The rescuers fed them right there. They were so hungry. Look how they eat. Now it's time to have a little bath in the shelter. They were so dirty. They still cannot eat adult food, so they eat special baby food. Now they look much more happy and ready to go to a new forever family. These two people came across the rock and noticed a deer that was stuck on a bluff wall. Honey, chill, nope, 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 chill. Nope, nope. Oh my gosh. These guys on the boat scared her so that she would start to swim on her own. Then people got behind her and pushed her up the edge of the wall until she made it to safety. You made it, honey. Good job. Now we want to show you this rescue of a bird trapped in a chimney. A rescue team was called out to help free a magpie that had gotten stuck somewhere in the chimney system. 
With no sign of the bird, Simon the rescuer had an uphill struggle on his hands. Firstly, they put the camera to the chimney to see where the bird was. The rescuer spent a lot of time just trying to find her. And suddenly, Simon could find the confused bird. It was so unexpected. The bird was released to freedom. What a good job. Bye-bye, birdie. This poor dog is named Yoki. He was found with his collar still on, long, dirty hair covered by bryophyte. He used to be a cute pet with a warm bed and good food. His owner passed away and there was nobody to take care of Yoki. He was left alone and lived in the garden for months in the rain and the cold. Yoki must have lived in constant pain and discomfort. After trimming down his hair, rescuers found he had a blind eye. The result of the medical checkup is very positive. Our Yoki is still able to see. Bad things are gone. Welcome to a new life, Yoki. People saw some strange movement on the pond. It was a bird stuck in the fishing line, this poor innocent owl. These guys came close enough to try and catch her in a net. The bird was so scared. Oh my God, your spinnerbait's gonna catch you out. I think if you just cut the line. Oh my God, did you just see him blink? People would untangle the animal and try to get it to safety. Rescuers tried to be very slow to develop a level of trust. The owl was nervous so the bird was successfully moved to the ground. So the owl has the lucky chance to be rescued by these kind guys. So nice to see. Crisis situation. This mama moose fell through icy water. Her baby watched helplessly from the shore and rescuers jumped into action. The tension mounted by the minute. The baby calf waited nearby and never left the area. It was just prayerful all the time. It took over five hours, numerous lassos, and all the strength they had to pull this moose to shore. It was just a Christmas miracle. Rescuing an animal in these treacherous conditions is dangerous. Officers' safety, teamwork, and some Christmas magic all came together to help this moose in need. What a cool rescue story! A woman noticed a fox with a peanut butter jar on his head. Poor baby, what did you do? It seemed like it was possible to just gently grab it off of him, but he was so scared. His mommy knew something was wrong. She's perched up there looking for the baby. Unfortunately, the baby had disappeared once animal control came, so finding the fox was a bit challenging. Operation Catch That Fox has started. They put some cat food underneath the cage. But at night, these two fat raccoons came. They're just having the time of their life at this open buffet. So rescuers realized they needed a net. Finally, the baby was caught. It happened so fast. They very quickly got the jar off of his head. Seeing that he's safe now was just so wonderful. He's gonna be fine. Good luck, baby. A pretty dangerous situation happened with a baby plover. He had fallen into a drain. His mom was standing nearby and waiting for any help. Thank goodness a man noticed that and went down to the drain to save the baby. The mom was so happy to see her baby alive and healthy. He missed his mother so much. Another girl came out to feed her horses and found a barely living bat on the ground. He got a name, Bob Ross. Hope that he could try out and find some strength during the daytime. Tonight, people decided to open at twilight and see if he could fly away or was able to move at all, but he was still very weak. He got some mealworms and some fresh water to recover. Here's hoping for the best. Good night, Bob Ross. Take your time. People heard a strange sound coming from the sewer drain. They spent a few hours digging and tried different things to get it out, until finally, the little creature showed up, and it was just a baby raccoon. Animal Control asked if somebody would take him home and care for him until he found a better place. The tiny raccoon was so sweet and cute at home, also really hungry and tired. And later, they found the perfect place for him to continue his little life. Bye-bye, baby! That was the last rescue story for today. We should keep a close eye on our pets. And of course, don't pass by animals in need. Sometimes they are so helpless. Do you have any rescue stories of animals? Share in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you!